Time to get some crystal dragon shots from the new special dungeon. 7k dreamer please. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be looking at Mythical Awaken Milia's dungeon. She is a crazy crazy hero, so we're gonna check out her skill set so you know what to prepare for. She does silence on her awakened skill, so there are some units you need silent resistance for, and she also decreases physical damage, so no point using Shane. She also revives, she also reduces blind resist and attacks two targets on her basic attack. For her first skill, she has exploit vulnerability, hits super hard, ignores defense as well. For her Second skill, she deals 800% damage, okay, provided you survive, and also has 50% crit rate and decreases buff duration by one turn. So thank goodness she doesn't have a chain attack here because there is no exclusive item activated on her dungeon, and she does blind as well. So this is my team Valika as DPS because she resists physical, Lina for heal and crit buff, Rachel for debuff, Sig for counter and taunt and resetting of Valika's awakened skill and Sylvia for magic attack buff, and when using Ritual, Ritual buffs crit damage, lethal damage and lethal rate. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. This is actually my fourth try. So that was 40 keys gone and this is my fifth year. I think my fifth try? Actually, I don't know. I just tried many many times. The reason why is because if Velika doesn't land her crit and lethal and Milia blocks it, then I think it's not a very good situation for you. It will take super super long, okay? Do note that Velika can only use her Awaken skill twice due to 6 reset. So if you don't get rid of Melia in these two tries, then there's gonna be some problem, okay? So first skill of course is to land the Phoenix, land the debuffs on Melia so she takes more damage, and then buff your crit rate with Lina, okay? And then you can either choose to buff crit damage with Lina's Awakened skill, or you can use Valika's top skill which buffs single target damage. Okay, I chose to go with this first, followed by the heal. Why do you need to heal? Because not only do you take a lot of damage, you also have to get rid of the blind casted on Valika. Okay, that's very important. I don't have blind resist on Valika. If you like Valika to be totally safe, you can give her blind resist. <laughs> So as you can see here, I'm gonna buff my crit rate increase. Okay, I'm gonna buff my crit rate with Lina's Awakened skill, and once that is done, I'm going to cast Valika's Awakened skill. At this point, I have no idea if it's gonna be blocked or not. Okay, but from the damage, you can roughly tell. If she hits 2k, 2 million I mean, with the first hit, it is not blocked, okay? If she hits 1 million, then probably it's blocked. But then again, this is my damage figure, so I'm not too sure about yours. But just take a look at the damage Velika does. Okay, and if this was not Milia, she could have just one-shot the hero. So crit damage buff is super important from Lina. Okay, it almost doubles the damage, I believe, from Velika's Awakened skill. So over here I reset with 6 awakened skill and I kind of made a mistake, I should have used this skill first and then use um, Velika's bottom skill actually. But I decided to you know use Velika's bottom skill to kill off the melee and then she revived and then I cast my 6 awakened skill which uh, I think it's better the other way around where you use 6 awakened skill first then you kill off the melee so that it will also charge Velika's awakened gauge at the same time. It's just going to delay my run a little bit more now. So you also notice that Lina's crit damage awakened skill buff is also up, it's also reset. So if that runs out for you, you can cast it again. So Seek is super super important here, you have to use Seek and not Ares and not Aragorn. Okay. There's a lot of healing. I would suggest that if you don't have very good HP gears, HP armor, don't have very good builds for your heroes, healing is super important. As I will talk about that later when we go through the heroes' builds themselves. My poor Silver is being targeted by Milia constantly. I think that bottom spot is very likely to be targeted. <laughs> So here I'm gonna cast Valika's Awakened skill again. There is a chance she may be blocked again, okay? So there's always a chance for that. But now she does even more damage because Melia's health is already half. So that's why she did even more damage here. So yes, 
that was the run I have. It took slightly longer because of my misplay in the middle and I got the Dragon Shard which is super lucky. I know the rates may not be very good and some of you are very unhappy about that. I think yeah it is not very fair because it is due to RNG and there are a lot of factors that can go into play so even if you play 14 days if you have bad RNG you may not even get a single shine that totally sucks I know I mean this kind of thing at least you know guarantee one or two for player base so we're gonna look at hero builds now my Velika has double lethal max HP HP gear I mean PvE crit and lethal damage PvE magic attack increase and also increases awakening gauge charge speed. Now this is super important because you will need to use her awakening skill very very frequently. At least twice I mean. And willful ring, but if you saw just now, Melia actually removed my willful rings with just one skill. If she crits, then your willful ring is pretty much pretty much gone. So that is how strong she is. And also I understand that I have fighters so increased damage on universal here. So that makes a huge difference to be honest. And I know that many many players don't have that at this stage. So how can you go about doing the dungeon without it? It will just pretty much take longer time and what you have to ensure is that your Velika is still well built in all other areas and you have to give her the trait for increased damage on universal, that's without a doubt, okay? I give her silence resist as well so that she doesn't get silenced but anyway you can clear with Lina's healing, cleansing skills so it doesn't really matter it's just that it protects Velika more so that I don't have to keep relying on Lina in that case so uh, you realize that I don't have the magic attack fighter soul here so if you guys have that then even better for you. Next up we have Lina. For Lina she is super super important right here. You realize that I use her to heal a lot. So first things first is you need to give her silence resist otherwise she will be silenced. You cannot heal in time you're gonna die. Okay. The second thing is you need to give her weapons, good weapons because she relies on her magic attack amount to heal. So the more magic attack she has, the more she can heal. And of course you need bulk for her. So you realize I also gave her red jewels and I gave her recovery skill increase and PvE skill cooldown and willful ring. So these are all important things you have to have on Lina to make her do her job well here. For Rachel, I gave her double block. She is one of the most poorly geared units on the team actually. And yeah, she's very well decked in block and also Willful Ring. So whatever it is, whatever you give her block or HP, just make sure she has enough block. She needs to cast Phoenix at least once and then maybe sometime later on as well if you don't do enough damage to kill off Melia. And yeah, as I said, I reset the dungeon a few times, wasted a lot of keys just to ensure that, you know, Velika's crit and lethal can hit through and not be blocked. Next up we have Seek. For Seek you need to have very high counter on him but then again counter doesn't really matter because what you need is his reset, awaken skill reset. So in that case you can remove the lifesteal jewel I have here and give him increased awakening gauge if you have another one. Increased awakening gauge is far better for him. He's not gonna lifesteal back much anyway and you need the willful ring on him for sure. Counter rate, well not so important because you have Rachel and Velika herself can reset the cooldown for her skills so it doesn't really matter for Seek to have counter at all and in fact I mean Melia hits two targets with her basic attack sometimes she doesn't even target Seek so what's more important is the increased awakening gauge over here and finally we have Sylvia Sylvia is just given a lot of buff because she needs to survive for the sake of Velika she needs to buff Velika's magic attack and basically that's all for Sylvia just make sure she has a lot of bulk. For my masteries for special dungeon, it is set like this. The level 21 doesn't really matter. I set it to lethal damage because of Shane and I didn't change it around. You can even buff crit damage for Velika. I think buffing lethal damage is still better because you do have a very big buff from Lina. So this is the synthesis event. Okay, 4 Galidus for 1 million, not possible at all. I think it's totally ridiculous. And you have 8 shards for Galidus. So I already gotten 1. Some time later you will get one as well, one or two. Hopefully you get two, then you can exchange for Galidus because you do get six from the check-in reward. Okay, so basically every player should be getting a Galidus by the end of the event. Hopefully, okay, hopefully. Uh, I wish you all the best, okay? So that's all I have for this video. Hopefully it helped. Give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more guys. Thank you so much and see you.